this is how they are the line up, lining up. They will throw, play with a 4-3-3 as well. Glenroy Samuel between the six, the Trinidad and Tobago National. Odalyn Hard in the captain, Romain Brackenridge. Okima Jones, the exciting wing back, will play in the right wing back. Rohan Brown, fresh from the transfer market and his exploits at Dumbo Holding. Kasim Priestley in the middle of the park with Chidalo Chukomeko as well with the Nigerian background. Their number 34 comes into the lineup. Gar Stewart has played really impressively in the centre back role. Joshua Nanglin, who is improving in his performances in the middle of the park. Omar Thompson and Tyrese Williams complete the start in lineup coached by, of course, Ludlow Bernard. Lige Williams still with me. Both playing 4 3 3. Lige, an exciting 12 draw last. Full match highlights. Okita Nicholson, the man in charge. Jamon Shepard, the player driving forward. That strike hadn't been fine tuned yet. That was over the top from Shepard, but he knew he would have been getting better and he looked eager to score. So did Warner Brown, but that lacked quality to finish. The first touch was very good, but his, his finishing was off. Fabian Reed, that touch was off as well, but then teed up Kahin Dixon who couldn't get it right. Didn't open up his body enough, Kahim Dixon. But both him and Shepard would have better moments in the second half. Fabian Reed flicking on that header at the near post, wide of the mark. Unable to add to his five goals he scored so far this season in quick succession. Shepard, this was a topo shot, which came off the crossbar, the underneath of the crossbar. And he was getting closer was Jamon Shepard. Good try from on it's number seven disappointed that he didn't find the back of the net then Dixon linking up well with Jaheim Thomas over the head from Fabian Reed and again he couldn't get it finished right his finishing was a little off today Harborview they had their best chance of the first half there that they just couldn't get right that was Williams on that occasion that was off into the second half now and Shepard looking to bend that towards the near post he was getting closer shaving the outside of the left upright and Samuel was scrambling then this on target from Anglin Asher Hutchinson saving on the second attempt then this moment Jaheim Thomas playing it into Ramon to Jamon Shepard and this time it was inside of the upright from the on at number seven just about from the penalty arc and into the back of the net second of the season for Shepard second of the season in his second of his Premier League career and second against Harborview and then this thunderbolt from Kahim Dixon look at this for a strike great technique with the instep and Glenroy Samuel no chance Kahim Dixon opens his scoring for Arnett Gardens at this Premier League level 2-0 Arnett at that point and then this a thing of beauty from Andre Fagan Oh, that was magical. Okima Jones with the assist. And Andre Fagan with a mature finish. The 36-year-old into the far corner. Four on the season for him. 2-1. Harborview just left it too late. Yeah. Arnett able to clear and enjoy the whistle. Three points for them and a 2-1 scoreline. As you can see, 2-1 the scoreline for Arnett Gardens, dominating in most of the categories, if not all, and getting the job done. They move back to fourth position in the Premier League table and a big three points against Harborview. Three shots on target from 12 attempts, as you can see, for Arnett Gardens. All shots on target, all six of them coming in the second half. Three on target from nine for Harborview. Just one yellow card shown from Akita Nicholson, it was Roshane Thompson and it's number 22. Majority of the corners for Arnett Gardens, they had the possession as well at 58%. And the most important stat, two goals compared to Harborview's one. Big three points for them as they move further up the table. Lots of work to, for Harborview to do as they remain 11. And Lige Williams is with our man of the match, Jamon Shepard. Yeah, Jamon Shepard, today's man of the match. Um, second game of the season against Harborview, second goal of the season as well, and it was a beauty today. Describe your performance. 
Well, my performance was very, um, was very much good. This is the type of game I dream about. On the weekend, I've been dreaming about was playing well. I know once I play well, the team plays well. Because I'm the engine of the midfield. So once I play well, I know we all get a win. I know even without the goal, I was saying on commentary that I felt that like I would have given you man of the match regardless because your performance was so good. You were the, as I said, you were the engine of the team. And you said that you're going to lead this Iron Gardens team to good things. I'm sure you have a title in your mind. Yes, it's my hometown, my community. So to come home and give it the, the community the trophy, it will mean so much to me. And this performance is very emotional because I score two goals against the team I love, the team I grew up playing for. So it's a good thing going forward. I know this Ironet Gardens team now, you have a lot of young teammates, but you've been playing for quite some time now. So even in this young group, do you feel like you have some leadership qualities that you can give to them? Yes, it's, it's like my fifth season now in the Premier League. I, I've been playing for, I was like age 18 from the Manning Cup. So I think with my leadership to the team, it adds well because when I speak, the players respond well. The respect they, they give to me is very much good. So I think my leadership can help the team to go forward. Excellent performance today, great win as well, and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. And I'll be moving on.